Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan and welcome to my plan with me for September 4th through the 10th. I'm going to plan in my Erin Condren Life Planner hourly format. This is my main planner to give me an overview of my week and what my schedule is going to be like so I know what to expect. I'm going to decorate with an Erin Condren sticker sheet. So let's just see here what I've put together. I've been trying to do better about pulling stickers from my stash and adding them into kits or putting them with sticker sheets. So this is the school supplies sticker sheet from Erin Condren. I think it's called school supplies. The cover is called metallic school supplies, I think, but maybe I'm totally wrong. And I have this cover. So at the end of this, let's pop the cover on also. I have gone through my calendar and made some stickers just to save a little bit of time. I'm a little busy this weekend. I made some date covers to match this. And I pulled out some stickers from Erin Condren sticker books that I thought might complement this. So we'll see if we can put this all together and make it look like a cohesive sticker kit. And before I forget, one of the things that I'm busy with this weekend is assembling my students' assignment books. So every year I make a new cover, just so it's kind of fun and um, different than last year. So this is kind of a space looking theme, I think. And it says mission practice and a pianist, this is where they write their name and just the name of my studio and the year. And a couple people in my Facebook group said they wanted to see what's in it. So it's a little bit boring, but I will show you what's in it. When you open it up, there are enough assignment sheets for the fall term, which is 13 lessons. So this, all these pages are exactly the same. So when you get to the 13th one, after that, there's a little divider that says end of the fall term and we all go on break for a few weeks. Then the spring term is longer, so there are 18 of the very same lesson sheets. This is a sheet that I designed, so if you are a music teacher, piano teacher, and you want to get this sheet, it's in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Then I have a couple of reference sheets in the back. This is the circle of fifths, and this is just like a little cheat sheet for my beginning readers. And then a little plastic cover on the back. I have a comb binding machine, so I assemble these things myself. And that's all there is to it. So really the work is punching the holes, counting out the proper number of sheets, and then putting them in the right order and assembling them. And that's it. One more thing, not really an announcement, but an update in case Angel is watching. Hi, Angel, if you're watching. I wanted to kind of bring you up to speed on what I'm doing to practice writing my memory verses. So thanks to my friend Angel, in February, I started using my compact vertical instead of plans like this. I switched over to using it to practice writing my memory verse. Here we go. So I choose my own memory verses, one per week, and I try to memorize it. And the way that I do that is by writing it down every day and by saying it aloud, and I give myself a check mark each time that I say it aloud. So ever since March, I have been doing that in my compact vertical. For some reason, this was an 18 month compact vertical. I removed pages, but not six months worth like I normally do. I only removed December, October, and November, not in that order. So I have September. This is what I'm in right now, but I am going to switch after this after this week here. And I might do a flip through too so we can do another voting on sticker kits because I have a lot of cute sticker kits in there. But I'm switching over to my Moxie Life Horizontal for this. And this has been underused because you know there is a limit to how many planners you can use at one time or at least that's the theory. So here's how I'm using it here. I've already done these days in the compact vertical, but I've just been catching it up and transferring it over. So officially with October, I will be using this horizontal layout of the Moxie Life Planner to finish out 2023 writing my memory verse. And I wanted Angel to see that because it was all her idea to do this and I love it. The thing about Moxie Life that's really great for this, and I don't know why I didn't think about it before, is that it comes with a habit tracker, and I can just use that habit tracker as my checkoff for how many times I say the verse aloud. 
and I probably won't use stickers. I don't know. I don't want to overcomplicate trying to memorize me memory verse. Do you get that? You know, maybe you do. It is fun to use the stickers, but I do so many stickers in my main planner anyway that I feel like sometimes I just want to have an all pin place. All right, so let's get down to planning. The Erin Condren sticker sheets are not really what you would call a sticker kit, and you can use them in a monthly layout or in a weekly layout or on notes pages, and there's really no rule to that. You just do whatever you think would look nice and what would bring you a little bit of joy and fun to your planning and journaling. But I started using my Erin Condren sticker kits, I mean sticker sheets in my hourly weekly spread after I saw how cute it looked when Plan With Ronald did it. And Plan With Ronald is not really active with videos and photos anymore. And her name's not Ronald, her name's Sarah. She lives just like 30 minutes away from me. And we try to catch up every now and then. And guess what? We had lunch last week. We did catch up and it was so nice. It was really fun to see her, but she's the one that was using this for her weekly spread. So I started trying it. Then, just like a month ago, I thought, well, why not make some coordinating stickers to go with these to kind of round it out and make it an actual kit. So that's what this is all about. And I think what I'll do with this is either cap off of that or put it up here. Let's put it up here. There. So have I got any Laurel Denise planner users in this audience? Let me know if you use a Laurel Denise because you probably know this if you are in the Laurel Denise Loves Facebook group. The launch for 2020 for Laurel Denise planners is this week, and I think it's on Thursday. It's either Thursday or Friday. I will have to double check. But as an affiliate, I was able to go ahead and place an order. So I... I like to support Laurel Denise, whether I am in her planner or not, and I go in and out of being in her planner. I like it when I'm working on a project that needs a month view and weekly view all in the same place without flipping. That's the cool thing about her planner. And when I get my new one in, I will do a video so you can watch it. Even if you're not gonna buy one, you know, if you're a planner girl, you wanna see what it looks like, right? If you're like me. Oh, also, did you notice my nails? Since piano lessons start back for the fall term, I had my once a month professional manicure and asked the manicurist to draw an eighth note on my thumbs. But this is not going to last maybe until Tuesday because every time I practice piano, I get chips. So the eighth notes may just be for me and not the students. Okay, let's pop all of these down. And by the way, Laurel Denise, you know, her planners are landscape orientation and people have expressed a desire to get like a folio to keep their planner in. And she has come out with two colors of folios for that planner. So be on the lookout. I think she's already shared it actually. I ordered one of those because I could not resist seeing what that was going to be like. All right, so let's just start putting this stuff down here and give ourselves a focal box. I think it's gotta be the school supplies. Here they are up close. Now just for fun, let's put some of these washi stickers that are from last year's Colorful Harmony sticker book because I think they match really well. And I always just think they look like collages that kids might do in school. But they have this nice little pop of metallic gold so I think they look nice and we'll just work around them. It's almost like confetti in a way. I love the gold and I tell you who's really great at using these cloa tree plants. I think it's cloa tree plants. She's so creative with all the stickers and stuff. The Erin Condren stickers specifically and I tend to forget that I even have them. So that's not good. 
Now all of this is going to be covered up with like event stickers and stuff. And since I've made stickers, I don't even have to have a space to write. I can just pop the, the text stickers on top of things. So maybe that's enough for now. And then as far as like event stickers goes, I have these. And from the sticker sheet itself, I've got these. Remember when these were checklists? And in fact, some of the designs still are checklists when you get them, but they've taken the little dots off. And I think they did it because the little checklist dots did not line up with the half hour times. And that just didn't make a lot of sense. So I like it better this way because you can always add, like with a Sharpie or something, you can add some checklist dots to it but I ended up using mine for washi strips anyway. Just like to do time blocking. Would these look good? Right, let's try one and just see. Yeah, I think they would. So I'm going to do some layering. These are so dark that it would be hard to see the writing unless you used my all time favorite pen for writing on Erin Condren Dark Stickers, which is the Uniball Signo. A white gel pen that works really well but I'm gonna do something even easier than that by just going like this doesn't that work nicely I like it and it's very satisfying to be using these Erin Condren stickers that I forget that I have um, also sorry about the lawnmower noise but there's nothing I can do about that in fact I'm very happy and I'm going to have a freshly mowed or mown lawn for Tuesday when the piano students come back. A few of them took lessons over the summer, but the majority did not. So I'm excited to see them back. There we go. And then I put made some little upright pianos to go with lessons. So let's see where we want to put those. we'll just put it beside. It might have looked better down here. I don't know. Let's do this one this way. Yeah, I think it does look better. So we're going to shovel this up and move it. Hopefully I'm not too late. Oh, look at that. Boy, did it really stick to that Aaron Condren sticker. Oh my goodness. All right, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it right back where I got it. And then maybe we'll shovel this one up with more success. Yes, that was more successful. And we will put that there and continue. All right, then Back to the original sticker sheet. Which one of these do we want to use for church? Let's use this one, because all these school supplies don't really go with church, do they? It's more time than I need, but it will be good nonetheless. So I've got a church script and a little church building. Teeny tiny, teeny, 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 tiny church building. We'll put the church building on top of the asterisk and then add the script right here. Okay, then we've got a film up plan with me over here. That always takes a while. And I'm gonna do also laundry at the same time. So let's put down two stickers. Like, I'll probably start the laundry here. Then we'll put do laundry with a little basket of laundry and film plan with me with this little clapper board. Okay, so laundry first. Just put that there. Laundry basket. Film plan with me. Clapper board. Okay, great. I have a meeting up here, 
and I forgot to make a thing for it, so I just cut out a little bit of white in case I want to put it on top of a dark sticker, which I probably do. So there is a bit of travel time. Maybe I will use one of these to give me a representation of the meeting plus the driving to and fro. And then I'm going to need to just write on that. Okay. Okay. Then, what else? Practicing piano, mom days. Let's put the mom days in next. And also, look at this. I made back to the piano school instead of back to school. Haha. -ha. And then a little school building. So that maybe needs to just kind of be like a theme here. Back to the piano school and a little school building. I always used to get so excited when school started back up. I did. So we've got to do our September student portraits. I always take a picture of all the kiddos for their first lesson of the school year. We do have, at this particular mom day, we are going to have pedicures and I've got to do her meds. So I just made a little pill minder sticker. And it is also car care day. Just means I go through the car wash. Here's the sticker for that. So let's put all that on Monday. And I'm also going to be assembling assignment books. Maybe I'll have it done by then, I don't know. We'll see. You know, I went to Staples and I got some supplies that I needed for the assignment books. And when I got home, the clear covers were not in the bag. That was frustrating. That was frustrating. And I have one clear cover on hand, which is why I was able to show you one. I think it looks better like that. So maybe what I really need to do is just scoot the washi tape over like that. Okay, so it is a mom day. That's the header for it. And we're going to do her pill minder. And we're going to do pedicures. We do that once a month. And I've got a little bottle of nail polish too. We should definitely not forget to use. And then car care day, I can do with mom. And you know, we will just go through the car wash together and fill up the car with gas. I also noticed that I'm due for an oil change, so I need to do that for sure. I could be working on the assignment books in the morning, but I'm probably going to do Etsy orders in the morning. I love to do Etsy orders with my coffee in the morning. So let's do assignment books when we come back. Assignment books right there. And Etsy orders. Glad I made some of those. You never know what I'm going to leave out and just even like the most obvious thing I might leave out. Okay, so Monday is super colorful and cute. Then... Tuesday. Oh, I need to practice piano too. Every I made seven practice Chopin's. And even if I don't do it, at least I will have a reminder here that I should be doing it. I'm going to put it in the evening. In fact, let's just go straight across. As soon as piano lessons are over, I will practice my Chopin. And if I practice it earlier in the day, no harm done by the sticker being down low totally fine. Just at some point I need to practice. Even if it's just 15 minutes, I need to do it every single day. Because I find that my fingers just kind of get out of it if I skip a day. And it takes much longer to get warmed up after I skip. So I like to make sure I at least spend a few minutes practicing. So September student portraits is something that we need to remember to set up like a little background for that. 
So let me use this thing and I'll offset it to be artsy. We'll just go like that. Okay, then, but you know what I could do? Let's put one of these with it. Like, that, does that look good? No, it looks weird. That just looks weird. I'll just put it here. That didn't add a thing, but whatever. It's fine. I need to pick up a new debit card on Tuesday. So let's just put that here. So I'll remember to do it. And this money is not a debit card, but we can go ahead and just use that as a symbol of currency. Then I need to gather the trash on Tuesday morning also. But we could go like that, gather the trash here, and a little trash can. Okay, I know when my friend Lisa's birthday is, so she gets some balloons, and what else will she get? Let's give her this. go. We've got payday on Friday. So let's do a similar thing. Let's use one of these. Go like, um, kind of want to bump it up right underneath that Friday. And go like that. And we'll do like that. Okay, good. This really helps me not have to use my brain too much. Have a baby shower, anniversary, both on Saturday. That could go with, this needs a sticker. Probably a big one. We'll put the anniversary reminder up there. Then, two more mom days. Let's do this for mom day on Wednesday. And somebody asked me, somebody was new here. Those of you who are not new here, you know exactly what mom day is. Uh, my mom is just getting to the age where she needs some extra help with some things. So mom day is just when I help her and visit her. Spend a little time with her. Sometimes we'll go get groceries. We always go get a coffee. So I have three little coffee cups that we can put on all of the mom days. There we go. Lesson one. I always just like to put the lesson number somewhere. Once piano starts up, like from here on out during the school year, I'm going to be putting the lesson number somewhere up here. So let's just do it that way today. I wanna to list my November kits, but I've gotta finish them. And that's a good thing to do in the morning. There. Okay, so let's let ourselves work on the Etsy orders there. And also, before mom, and I'm gonna aim for Wednesday to get those kits listed. The seven by nine monthly kit is ready. The A5 kit is almost ready. Actually, I think the A5 kit is all ready. The only thing that's not ready is the freebie and the Laurel Denise November kit because I make a Laurel Denise just for the dated, um, dated horizontal because they're all different for 2023. But the exciting thing when Laurel Denise launches, what we're going to have is a uniform monthly calendar size. So when I start making kits for the January Laurel Denise, 
they should fit all of the planners except the, the project planner, I think. I think it should fit the vertical, the horizontal. She's also coming out with a new mini size. It will not fit that. And I am not going to have a mini to look at, so I won't be able to make a mini. So, but, but mine will fit the normal, regular Laurel Denise. Another Etsy order, so let's work on that here with the last one of these. And then, of course, I've got some hair dryers. You know what that means. Clean house. I want to do a nice cleaning here for the first day piano. There we go. Laurel Denise launch. I don't think I will have my affiliate box yet by then. But as soon as I do, I will do a video. So let's write wash hair. Okay, wonderful. All right, so what I like to do um, over here on the sidebar is to, I know what you thought I was gonna say, those of you who watch all the time, not yet. Um, what I like to do on the sidebar is write my memory verse. So my memory verses for the month of September are, just to bring you up to speed, these memory verses I chose because number one, I wanted to memorize the names of all 12 disciples. I had them memorized maybe years and years and years ago, but they have um, slipped. So I decided to focus on discipleship. So I went back a little before um, Jesus begins to choose his disciples. His first, what you might call a disciple, was John the Baptist, who was paving the way for him. So these two verses have to do with John the Baptist. These two have to do with the disciples. So we're right now on the second one, and this is talking about John the Baptist. It says, And he preached, saying, After me comes he who is mightier than I, the straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Mark chapter 1 verses 7 and 8. Here's a slow motion flyover for you, so you can see everything up close. And what I like to do at the end of my weekly plan with me is say a prayer for the upcoming week. This is one that I wrote for the month of September. I'm praying this at the end of all of my September weekly plan with me's. And if you'd like to join me, I invite you to do that. Heavenly Father, Thank you for this fun time of plan making and planner decorating with my dear friends who are watching now. As we go through this month, teach us what it is to be true and loyal disciples of Jesus Christ. Show us what it means in our lives to take up our cross and follow you. Is there something we need to let go of or give up? Help us to do it. Do you want to use us in a particular way to further your kingdom on earth? Put us where you want us and help us to bloom and grow there. Is there an area in our lives where you would have us to change course? Lead the way, Lord, and give us the courage to follow. As you made the original 12 disciples fishers of men, make us the same. And may we start by being the examples we should be to our own children, spouses, parents, siblings, nieces, and nephews. Set us apart in our workplaces, among our colleagues and our peers, as ones who serve the living God. And may others be drawn closer to you by having been around us in everyday life. Draw the lost who may be listening into a personal relationship with you and lead them to those who can show them the way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 
Well, friends, that's going to do it for this video. It's a busy week ahead, for me anyway. And I hope that whatever you're doing this week, whatever your struggles are, whatever your list is, whatever your schedule is, that you would remember that your Creator loves you, your Creator made you. He knows every hair on your head, and He made you exactly the way He wants you to be. And He wants you to give your heart over to Him. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.